Fresh coffee. Good morning, afternoon, afternoon, everybody. My name is Mike at Filmboy24. Today, we're back at it. This is episode number 21 of finding, first and foremost, developing, drying, scanning, then delivering an old roll of found film right to your doorstep. Well, to your monitor. That's right, I'm excited. I'm excited that we've gotten this deep and people still wanna see it. So as long as you still wanna see it, I'm gonna keep doing it. And what I mean by that is, if you're new to my channel, I really enjoy taking really old rolls of film, that's a lot of reallys, uh, from various sources, usually online. I've had some sent to me from viewers. If it's a really old roll of film, preferably, you know, a cartridge type film like this or the 16 millimeter cartridge types and it was exposed by somebody like maybe left in a camera or it came with some film that you bought and it was in a case or or that's how I pick up a lot of it uh, I like to process it let's not throw it away let's find out what it is and maybe one day the rightful owner can see it it happened to me and I was very excited about it check out searching for 86 there's a lot of film that I processed, and I found the, the, uh, the young lady in the film, wonderful lady. Uh, so it's exciting. It's exciting to me. Uh, this particular role is part of the Cameraman Mike eBay lot. Now, I've put together, let me set this down. I have put together a playlist. If you want to catch up with what's going on with this particular lot of film, I won't keep going over and over it. We have a playlist. I'll put a link to the playlist up here somewhere. And it's called Cameraman Mike's Sound Film Box Set. That's the name of the playlist. You go in there and, I, and they're in order of when I first processed them. They're not necessarily in order of when they were shot because frankly, I don't know when they were shot. I do the best that I can based on, you know, kind of what year I think the film might be based on the on the, you know, the, the color of the rectangle here, the smoothness of the cart, because you can get some information that way um but anyway to catch up go check go, blah, 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 go take a look at the playlist this particular cart is a smooth cart smooth carts came before the textured carts so this was an older one it has the blue rectangle with the white letters my guess is once again late 70s very early 80s we'll find out hopefully when it's processed you can see the film has been exposed by someone that we don't know. This film originally, I purchased it for a really good bargain from my uh, buddy there, cameraman Mike on eBay. He shipped it from Valley Forge, Pennsylvania. Now, we already kinda know that most of this was not shot in Valley Forge, Pennsylvania, or Pennsylvania at all. If you watch the playlist, you'll see, uh, it appears to be some in uh, maybe California. There was uh, some parade footage and certain things, so. That's where we're leaning right now, maybe California. The last roll that you saw from this uh, particular batch was a couple of found films ago, and it was really dark, if you remember. And we don't know where that particular roll was shot, so we're leaning towards California. Anyway, what I like to do is take this UPB 1A film processing tank from the USSR, be loud with it, I'm gonna load this roll of film into this tank in that dark room, and when I come back, it's gonna be ready to go. We'll be right back. And that was that. Film came off relatively easy, but if you've watched my found film before, you know that sound film doesn't come off the easiest. It likes to click a lot and give a little resistance when coming out of the cart. Nonetheless, wasn't a big deal. We got it spooled onto the spiral. And I think it's on there fine. Uh, I obviously can't open this up and show it to you. Highly recommend when you use these tanks that you put some gaffer's tape on the lid just in case. I do it for two reasons. One, the lid won't open with the gaffer's tape on it. Two, I know this tank is loaded. If I have tape on it, it's a loaded tank. If I don't, it's safe. Safe. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to process this roll of film in that 70s kitchen here in just a minute. We're going to do it in my standard process. I think I probably forgot to mention this on the last one, or maybe I didn't. I go off on these tangents, you know that. Forget things. Uh, my standard process for this particular type of film, seven minutes, 
HC110B developer at 68 degrees Fahrenheit-ish, sometimes 67. I water, cold water stop bath it for a couple minutes, and then we fix it in the standard Kodak powder fixer for about seven minutes at around 68 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. We just rinse it off, get the rim jet off of there, and I have a cool little rim jet technique that I use. Most of the time, most of it comes off. Sometimes it doesn't. You gotta work it at the end of the, you know, the end of the deal there. Um, I'll let you know maybe how that one works out, but I'm going to show you a very quick montage. I always do this. I'll show you a very quick montage of my process. Again, if you don't like it, just fast forward. I do use photo flow now, not dish soap. So when you see my ugly mug, once again, hopefully we'll have some answers. Be right back. About four and a half hours for me and maybe a couple of seconds for you. Whoa, 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 we got film, pretty good images, pretty good sound. If you've watched my found sound film in the past, whoa, you're going to recognize some of this, some of this roll, most of this roll, all of this roll. I did find, uh, and the edge code symbol, I wrote it on here, is a circle. A circle means that this roll of film was manufactured in 1976. So this is a really old one. This is a really old one. What is that, like 45 years? This film was manufactured 45 years ago? Yeah, we were lucky to get an image. Now I will say this, I am getting a lot of that alien skin emulsion bubbling mainly on, well, it's all over. It's just, it's, it's harder to see because I process it as a black and white negative and that black and white negative and the grain sort of masks it. But it's really visible on the uh, perforation side. You can really tell that that, emo I mean, it's suffering badly. I feel like another five years or another six months of poor storage probably wouldn't get much of an image out of this because of the emulsion coming apart and peeling off. And so we're getting lucky, I guess. I'm glad we're processing it now. I keep it nice and cool in my Florida humid garage. So it's fine. It's, we're, we're in good shape. <laughs> no, I really, settle, settle. But in the meantime, enough about that. We're gonna show you this. I synced it up as best as I could. Take a peek. Just lay back on your back, put yourself out away from the wall. You got this whole big pool. Try not to run into each other. Everybody, ready? That's good. Now, what we're gonna do? Very good. Very good. Well, if 
you ever been to the ocean? Yeah. What happened? There is now the We've got to swim the lights on pool now with our safety stroke. Oh, you do. Maybe All right. Swim in these. Not... It's just more clothes on, but it's no harder to swim in these than it is anything else. And you guys look like real champs. Thank you, Brad. Now splash your feet up hard. Splash them hard. Atta boy. Good, Joy. Keep going all the way now. Give me a good hard splash all the way across. Very nice. Let's climb up. Climb up. Big arms all the way. Head down now. Keep that head down real nice. Very nice. Hey, oh, yeah. All right, Lisa, both arms straight. Now, let's see how skinny you can I wanted to see your arms under the water, but that was all right. That was all right. Good. Let's have a thumb up the dive board. Okay. 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 Get your kick up all the way to the side. Atta boy, arms out of the water. All right, now. You're going to jump. Good. Jump off. Swim down to the other end of the diving pool. Kathleen, right out here. Everyone up on the Don't move. Lisa, go! Yeah, like I say, a lot of my regulars, you'll recognize that. You remember little Joey and uh, his little swimming lesson from, I don't know, a couple months back. <laughs> this looks like a continuation or, or, or sort of predates that one. I, I'm not sure. One thing, I did a little sleuthing on my own. I got a little note here. Uh, and if you stop the, stop the film, I, I don't know exactly, I can't remember where, but you see the couple of kids walking in their white t-shirts and right on the back of it, it says, Bud Linden's Swim School. And that is an old swimming sort of school. So Bud Linden was apparently a sort of a tough love swim instructor back in the 60s and 70s. Now, I, don't, I can't say that that's the guy in the film because I think Bud Linden is actually much older. So that's probably one of his instructors, maybe a family member. Uh, this school was in Arcadia, California perfectly matches what some of the other footage we had from this film. So, so it's all starting to come together a little bit. This is clearly from that Arcadia area of California so far that what we've shot. Not sure if we'll ever find out who any of those people are in that swimming pool. If you recognize anyone, if you know someone that might know someone that went to Bud Linden Swim School in Arcadia, California, turn them on to this video. Maybe they can help us. We got some good sleuths out there, so hopefully somebody can figure something out. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I synced it up, like I say, as good as I could. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? If you like videos like this and you want to see more, how about consider subscribing for me? I will make sure I continue to do them as long as there's an audience. Tap the like button. I would appreciate it. Doesn't cost anything. And it helps me a lot, lets me know that you care about these videos and that you care about little puppies or, or, or film, old film. That's what I meant. And until the very next time that I see each and every one of you absolutely, undeniably beautiful people. There it is right there. I'll see all of you on the very next go around.